I want to turn your attention to this verse in Ephesians. And it's Ephesians 6, verse 2. Then we'll read 3 and 4. Because I feel like they actually complement what I'm trying to say in this message. Even if it may not sound that way. Honor thy father and mother, which is the first commandment with promise. That it may be well with thee, and thou mayest live long on the earth. And ye fathers, provoke not your children to wrath, but bring them up in the nurture and admonition of the Lord. So you've probably heard this verse a million times if you're watching this video, like, oh, honor your parents so you can live long, all that. But I feel like this verse is actually an important one to understand, and we have to know why. Why do we have to do this? And so what I really found out is that by learning to honor our parents, we learn to honor God. All right? That was a shocking revelation that came to me, and such as that's been tested right now. As we speak, I'm in Limpopo, right? It's a province in South Africa for some of you who don't know. But anyway, I was on this long trip, probably like seven, eight hours. And when we got here, we had to work, right? There was no time to sleep. We had to work. We had this sort of holiday house thing. And it was dirty. I haven't been there in two years. So that was the first time we were there in like a while. So I had to clean. And there was just a lot of work to do. And I just knew, like, I could either get frustrated about it or I could just accept it and do what I got to do. Put in effort. Made my brother put in effort, and we, we got to reap the fruits of that. Now the house is clean, you know, like we don't got to worry about nothing. It's, it's cool. We have to make food as well, and like, we're just like, okay, it's a lot of work, but we're still going to do it because, you know, we're honoring our parents. And I feel like people misuse Ephesians 6 verse 4. A lot of teenagers tend to misuse this verse, and they think just because they feel some type of way, and that means that their parents are rebuking them to anger. But that's not always the case. Sometimes, that feeling that you feel, that frustration that you feel, it's just a result of being humbled, right? As humans, we're naturally prideful. It's in our nature to be prideful, right? Because we were born in sin. And so when you're humble, it obviously doesn't feel good, but it's actually good for you. Kind of like some foods. Some foods, they don't taste good, but they're good for you. Some foods taste good, but are not good for you, right? Pride feels good, but it's not good for us. An example of fathers provoking their children to anger is when they do that and it doesn't provide fruits. There's no like real substance behind it. If your parents frustrate you, but you know that they're trying to get you to do something that will benefit you in the long run or that will teach you an important lesson, then that's on you. If they're going to frustrate you for the sake of it, then that's the issue, right? That's what this verse is speaking against, that some parents will just make their children angry for no reason, right? But sometimes we feel some type of way because we're being humbled and that process will also help us to humbling ourselves before God. Yeah, that's the whole message. I hope you found value from this video. If you did, make sure to subscribe to Jesus Gang because we put out videos all the time. And yeah, different environment, different setting. You know, I had a suggestion from my brother in Christ to like make a video outside one time. So here I am outside. Not ideal setting, but you know, it's cool, it's cool. Maybe I might color grade it a bit, make it look better. But yeah, hopefully y'all like this style. I know the thumbnail was a bit clickbaity, my fault. But I don't think I'm gonna have time to film the thumbnail like outside here. So yeah, I hope you like that thumbnail. I don't know. Peace.